right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another one, and we are taking a look at some stocks today. The meme stocks, the pumps, the silver hands, the silverback gorillas, the GME and AMC crowd. Uh, we had some interesting news overnight, and it turned into a good old pumpathon on these coins again. And uh, let's just kind of go through a couple Twitter threads. I'm going to show you some levels on both, give you a top-down analysis on GME and GameStop. Going to do that live for you. And uh, we'll take a look at some levels and see if we can get to any of these levels as short squeezes really start to happen here. So uh, Roaring Kitty, one of the best retail traders ever to exist, has turned 53K into 48 million on GME. He was offline for three years and today uh, he's back, right? So he uh, made a tweet last night. Actually, I didn't even pull up the tweet to be honest with you. Uh, actually, it was the Thanos uh, snap. So, you know, if you can't, I rely on others to do it. You just kind of do it yourself. And then uh, both these stocks took off like a bat out of hell uh, today and just running for the ceiling. So among other things, GameStop short sellers have lost $1 billion in the first hour of trading today. Uh, this trader right here today with GameStop, GME trader got $25 car contracts uh, expiring 517 of 24 at an average price of $0.21 cents for about twenty-seven k. They peaked at $13.63. Uh, if he stayed in this long, he had a $6,400 return or 6,400% return, uh, turning 27 K into uh, $2 million, which is kind of crazy, right? And we got some other DGENs in the celebrity world hopping on board. Dave Portney has officially invested 500 K in AMC at an average price of $5.20 and 500 K into GameStop at $34.40. So let's see if he's up. Oh, Dave Portnoy might have bought the top like he always does. That's not a good sign. So uh, I know this is short squeeze territory. I don't uh, wring my neck for not being a moon boy with this stuff. I'm a trader, guys. I'm going to follow the levels, and that's how we made it. I made a buku dollars on AMC last time this happened, but I got out. And I got out in profit, and I didn't ride this shit to the ground like a fucking idiot like some of you guys. And if you were that person, Sorry. Uh, meanwhile, guys, if you want to hop in Discord, we are giving some of the best levels in the business here for both stocks and crypto. Uh, if you're here for the TradeFi folks, we are a crypto group first, and we have a lot of TradeFi guys as well. Uh, Discord.gg slash Rebels. And if I was looking here at the daily chart, there'd be several levels I was looking into getting wicked into, and we have almost hit that first one here, uh, if not considered hitting it right now. Will we keep going up and beyond forever on the daily on AMC here? I mean, this $5, $6 area is going to be pretty good resistance. Uh, if we zoom out to the weekly, um, it still looks like pretty good resistance, but we could potentially squeeze the whole way up into this area here. about $11 and $11 and 50 cents. Let's go ahead and take a look at GME as well. Let's start back here on the daily. We got a huge gap up on the daily and actually GME blew right through that level. I've been looking for my per first profit taking and up into the second. Actually, maybe a little short here. Maybe we can push this up to about 46 to $47, $45. But we got to remember TA on these things is going to be extremely difficult uh, as these crowds come in and out of these coins rather rapidly. And uh, if I was going to do some technical analysis on this, let's see if we can actually find some trend lines that we might be able to observe. And uh, we're kind of out and over this already chopping sideways, which I don't necessarily really like. And, um, man, this is a tough coin. It's just been downhill since that last squeeze. Uh, will we get the residual pump is the question. So we have something like this as well. This is a look at the weekly. Let's zoom this back in on the daily. And let's just take a measured move here. Out the top. That is way out the top here. Let's take this one. Yeah, we don't really have anything. We're just way up in no man's land up here. So... Let's take a look at the lower time frame, see if we have some sort of divergences or anything starting to form. So on the five minute chart here, uh, no real bear divs quite yet. Uh, 15 minute. That's tough, man. Uh, slight bear div. So you see the price moving to the upside here and you see the RSI moving to the downside down here. Or the stochastic RSI moving to the, that's the RSI moving to the downside here. So if this just rolls over, you know, when we open for pre-market, let me find my right tools here. You know, we have something like this, those double tops creating that bearish divergence as price goes up, oscillator comes down, and we have the same thing potentially forming right here as well on the stochastic RSI. So let's take a look at the four hour. I mean, four hours actually breaking resistance here. This could potentially just keep going. Uh, tomorrow, hmm, that's tough. 
Uh, I'd have to actually see a little bit more. Let's see if we can get you the continuation here first. So let's treat this as a range. Let's go from top to bottom. Let's see if we can get yourself a target here. So GME, if we keep pumping, pumping tomorrow, we have actually a path to make it up into the upside of that $50 range uh, with this bull flag coming right out the top. Let's take a look at AMC here, see if we can find the same thing. So here's our liquidity line. Starting to form some same thing. Bearish divergences, prices moving to the upside. Oscillators look like they want to roll over, not making higher highs with volume here and potentially coming right back down. But if we zoom out in the hour here, let's say we treat this as a bull flag right here. This was the flag and we're already broken out and over it. We have a move like this and we got something out the top here. So not quite getting that full measured move. Let's see if we take it the whole way down to the bottom here. Can we get the full measured move? Still not quite reaching, but we got a, at least a path to the $10 range potentially here. Let's see if the eight hour looks any different. Yeah, I mean, eight hour, this, this $11 range here, I think is pretty good if we keep pumping. So you're looking for liquidity, guys. So if you're not a normal trader, you're looking for areas on the chart where people like to sell. And if they bought in, you know, up in this area down here and they forgot to sell up here, potentially they just have a stop loss sitting up here to get them out of the play at break even. Or people who bought in down here are going to find these supply side zones and, and sell into those, right? So $12, you know, by no stretch of the imagination, am I calling for a $100 AMC or GameStop at this point? But both look potentially like they can move up further to the upside. Uh, but if you want to follow some TA on the intraday here, we can provide that for you over in Discord. Again, that's going to be discord.gg slash d by Rebels. I would love to see you over there. Maybe consider the premium group as well. If you're looking to become a day trader, swing trader, perps trader, uh, lots of amazing information over there. These are not currently trading, but up on the day, AMC 78%, uh, GME 74%, and I'm sure there's some other ones. Masters is up today. Wow, 5%. I don't think I have any of the meme coins on my chart. Meta Materials up 6%, Hood up 4%. And that's really about it. Uh, if you just want a quick little Bitcoin update, you know, we gave you the levels up here at the top. Let me get the right chart here for you. Scrolling back to the top here. Sorry about that. Holy cow. Let's get it here. Here we go. So we gave you the short levels over in the VIP Discord. And we were right in that level right now, seeing if we can hold this or keep continuing to the upside but that's going to wrap it up for me here guys i hope everyone appreciates these pumps you know taking it back to these hedge funds and uh showing a little respect back into roaring kitty here and if we keep going tomorrow time will tell we'll take a look at the charts in the morning get them in discord for you i appreciate each and every one of you i'm out of here